Sports brings you a special edition of the National Football League for this Thanksgiving matchup. It's the Bills and the Lions, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 23. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today, our Thanksgiving coverage continues with a good one here between the Buffalo Bills and the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. And losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills, they come into this one knowing it's been a while since tasting victory. They've dropped four in a row. Can they remember what it was like to win a game? In these types of situations, you're looking for someone to inspire you, and it doesn't have to be one of your best players either. Taking it about the one. Oh, good looking return set up here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Detroit gets set to go on offense, and it will be the seventh year pro out of Cal, Jared Goff, leading the attack in his second season as a Lion. And the numbers were not pretty. I mean, they don't look right. When you throw two interceptions, no touchdown passes, there's no way to really make that work. But I thought there were a lot of positives in watching his game tape. I think he's close to putting out a good performance. Let's see if he can flip those numbers around in this game. And, of course, rally his team to a win. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. It's no secret, he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions, can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? And the Buffalo offense ready to bring out their high-powered attack, and at the center of it all, of course, the rocket arm man in his fifth year out of Wyoming, Josh Allen. And what he's thinking about right now is first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation and that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, you might catch them having a defensive breakdown or not quite prepared. And it was really sudden after the first play picked off. So after the INT, it's Allen. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. going to throw. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Looking to throw. Allen. Under pressure and they got to him again. They dial up the corner blitz that time and it delivers to the two of a nine-yard ball. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. Back deep is D.J. Chark. Fielded at the 20. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Lions will take over. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And they've got to be thrilled to have this game still at nothing, nothing after the interception thrown on the very first play of the game. They certainly do. And what I enjoyed was watching him on the sidelines because as the defense came off, he was there to congratulate him and really say thanks because he threw the interception. It didn't turn into any points. Swings this out for Hunt. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Now Goff on first down. 
Under pressure, and down he goes. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Now this throw caught left side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. He's airing it out for Williams. And this is taken in at the 5. And in for the Lions touchdown. Jamison Williams, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Lions will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? Oh, no, it wasn't the correct at all. You got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers that made a fly route go. Uh oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going. Touchdown. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Naheem Hines now out of his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tapped him down inside the 20. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they almost to a man told us how excited they are to be playing in this traditional Thanksgiving game. But we have to remember this is a team that lost on Sunday. Now they get a very quick turnaround to play again. How difficult is that to do? It's difficult under any normal circumstance when you're coming off of a loss and you have a quick turnaround. The first thing is to put the loss behind you and move forward. When you're playing on Thanksgiving Day, everyone's watching you. It's an added bonus, though, because now you put the loss behind you. Get that taste out of your mouth because the taste you want is victory. Turn. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked by Jeff Akuda. Oh, man, partner, this is something quarterbacks love to do, and that's outthink a quarterback. If you get a sense that they're going to throw a quick out route or a quick hitch, you can just lay back an extra yard or two, but then really put your foot in the turf and drive on the football. And here I think you baited the quarterback into the throw and made it pay off. So here are the Lions to take over. They're looking to bounce back following the loss to the Giants last week. And they do lead here right now. And they've got the football, obviously, as well. First and 10. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. On first down, it's gone. Touchdown! Jamison Williams with his second touchdown of the game, the fourth of the year. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. In the second quarter, and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention to coverage. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one. And no thought of a return here for Hines. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. They are currently mired in a losing streak. Now they get the short week for the Thursday night game. Do you see that as a potential positive, or is this just more of what has been really a string of bad luck for them? Well, to me, it comes down to leadership, and leadership's got to spin it into a positive and make it an advantage for them. Yes, we're in a losing streak. Yes, no one thinks we can win. But we have the resources we need right here in this room. Let's go ahead and play better. Let's hang together and shock the world a little bit. Put it all together. They've got a chance of coming out of the W. Two minutes to play. First half, it's 14 to nothing. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of first. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. That's taken on the 25. Just a net of 34 there, following upon the 44 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. 
And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. From the 38, Goff. That pass caught. It's Williams. Touchdown, Detroit. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league. They decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Badgley on for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. And the long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Hines opting not to risk it, and this will come out to the 25. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. After the sack on first down, Allen. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. On third down, they go with Singletary. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. He'll get 17 back there, but it'll still lead to the fourth down. Now the punter, Sam Martin, called on to kick it away here. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at the 23. Now they try a lateral, but it doesn't work. It's a loose ball. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. Halftime over. No problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And no thought of a return here for Hines. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that will carry over. Allen. And that is incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. A great blocking nearly sprung in there. 28-yard return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. I know that taking care of the football is something that's drummed into every guy who plays this position, no matter what, whether he's running it, in the pocket, out of the pocket. But it's almost surprising to me that there aren't more fumbles by that position because of the way that they get attacked on each and every play. Now we had the fumble last week. Now here's two weeks in a row with a fumble loss. 
concentration has got to be there, and he's got to understand how much time he has to take care of a play, and maybe his clock is off just a little bit. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Let's see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing his Allen on third. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss. A one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot. And he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Allen now on third and goal. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Alex Anzalone picks up his second sack of the afternoon. now at Ford Field. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Now Allen, gotta have this one. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and ten at their own 26. They'll begin the drop. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on. And he loses the football a second time. And he loses the football a second time. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And this is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. So hold the phone here, Charles. I've kind of written them off, but after that touchdown, certainly a long way still to go, but stranger things have happened. Well, when you're going to have big second-half comebacks, plays like that have to be involved. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. On second and nine, Goff. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. It's now third down and nine yards. Throwing on third, Goff. That one complete. He finds Sharp. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. They run for it with Hunt. Kareem Hunt stops short of the sticks. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Josh Allen in the offense now. Down by two touchdowns. Just under two minutes to go. Allen, it's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Now the Bills will hustle to the line. Here's Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Throwing is Allen. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Allen. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 
Allen. And his throw here is incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to save for every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. And there's the touchdown that they needed, so they'll celebrate. But the guys on the sidelines, they've got to stay focused. The onside kick team, they need them to get the ball back. Yeah, part one of the equation done. Now they need to convert and get that onside kick. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And this will be covered up by the Lions, and that might just about seal the deal. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. And that's why you have your hand team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking in an outside kick situation. All about the numbers. Aren't you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Now Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Back to throw. Allen. Dancing to his left. And this is going to be incomplete. They've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's take a look at the offensive coordinator now. Has to think back something to every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right now, the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. Picked up by Deshaun Elliott. And the Lions have just about sewn up this football game. Well, that puts a little bit of a wrinkle in their comeback there. Yeah, everything had turned around for them, hadn't it? I mean, things were now going their way. But you did mention it's a wrinkle in their comeback bid. It's not the death knell for them by any stretch, but now they've got some extra work to do in order to climb all the way back. He's going to rifle one deep left side. He's got a man complete. The 30. 10. And he's across from a late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a camera on this game. This is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Hines opting not to risk it, and this will come out to the 25. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And a little bit of a surprise, they lose the turnover battle, but wind up winning the ballgame. And this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ball games. So when you get something that goes against the grain like the one we saw here, it's quite the oddity. Now let's face it, they'll be very happy that they pulled this off. But they do know that in the future, they've got to work on taking care of the football because this won't happen very often. 
so for the Lions, the win keeps them barely hanging on to their playoff hopes as they move to four and seven. And they'll get a few days to savor this one before they take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for the Bills, their luck may have run out as they fall to four and seven now in the year. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Foxborough to face off against the New England Patriots.